All right, man. So we're like 11 hours, a little over 11 hours from the episode having dropped. I'm sure by now you know that Netflix crashed like right at midnight. So many people wanted to watch that his surface went down for a bit. I was awake. We just done a, a live Q&A on the Instagram and I was awake when it happened. I saw it come through on my Twitch. I was like, this is amazing. So yeah, no, I'm definitely aware. <laughs> Did you see the memes of people posting you as Vecna drinking coffee through a straw? Like me, just waiting for Netflix to boot back up. <laughs> I didn't see that last night, no. That's amazing. Hi. So congratulations on uh, what I would say, and I think a lot of people are in agreement on this, is probably the, the best season of the show, at least since the first season, if not in comparison with that. What was it like taking on this this journey and, and learning the, the arc of your character from when we first meet him, I guess as Vecna, but then Henry, and then once again as Henry slash Vecna? I mean, first of all, I was genuinely overwhelmed with, with gratitude. Uh, to, to, to be a part of the show. It, it, it really was a very strange and just beautiful experience. The whole process of, of, of getting the role of meeting Matt and Ross and then working with the cast it was and the crew. It was just, I just, you know, I, I, I've got nothing but just like beautiful love to say. And then sort of on the personal work side of it, it was a pleasure, you know, it was a challenge. Um, but a challenge that I, I relished. I saw a means to realize my potential, to transcend my human form. I always love characters that have truth and grit and, you know, honesty to them. And I and I saw a lot of honesty in, in, in Henry and in one and in Vecna too. And for me as an actor and as an artist now, I'm always looking to go as far as I can and this was an opportunity to do that and and to do that with fantastic writing because the writing is what makes it right so what we're saying i have to believe and i believe everything so um yeah. it was just amazing a total joy and so did you know at the outset of this did the duffer brothers come to you and say like look vecna's the big bad of the series like we learn a lot of things in the in the finale of this season where like it was it was Vecna all along. He was the, he was behind almost all, like all of this. They so when I auditioned, first of all, I had no idea. I, I was only sent a couple of sides from other projects, and then uh, my second uh, second callback was with was with some dummy sides, but very limited limited amount of material. And then I went to go and meet Matt and Ross, and it was at that point when I met them at the end of our conversation that things started to come out, and they started to tell me you know, who this person was and what I was going to be doing. And, and I, I just was buzzing. I was just buzzing. It was just, it's just an honor. Again, I just, I honestly, I, 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 I feel like today I'm just going to be just saying I'm so grateful all the time, but I really am. I'm just so grateful. So given the way that the finale ends, first of all, it must be surreal to see your, your, your body get lit on fire and then <laughs> shot with a shotgun. He's out the window and then he disappears. He's essentially successful in his plan, right? Like we're definitely going to be seeing you again in season five, right? I couldn't possibly say you'll have to hold your breath. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it seems like, so then what is it? Then what was it like shooting that? So well, maybe not, I mean, shooting I'm sure is very technical, but what was your reaction when you watched it and saw your character burned and then and then blasted with a with a shotgun. That's kind of be strange. It was amazing. I, I was, you know, we were all together on that last day, and that was that was, I think, I think that was the very last day of shooting as well. Mm -hmm. And I remember watching that shotgun scene particularly, and I was stood by the monitors with Matt and Ross because often I, I like to watch what you know what my other team members are doing just because I find it fascinating. And she looked so cool. <laughs> I was like, I turned to the boys, and I was like. That's amazing. She looks so dope. That's so sick. And they were like, right? And I was like, yeah, sick. <laughs> so 
so that was really lovely to watch somebody else, you know, just look badass on camera. Um, and then, you know, to, to kind of perform it and to, and to watch it all back together. Um, it was, you know, it just felt right. Everything felt right for the character. Um, in terms of like my sort of like Jamie as a person, I, I, I wasn't really thinking about it very much. I was like, this serves the story. It looks amazing. And, you know, all those like shotgun blasts that I'm doing, you know, of course, like I'm not actually being shot. So, right. you know, we have to sell those and make sure that they look great. And, you know, the way my mouth opens at the end, Matt and Ross, <laughs> Matt and Ross said to me the other day, they were like, your mouth opens so wide. And we had to freeze the shot because we thought it was, we thought that like it had been like CG, it's like it drops really low. And they were like, it's not, it's just you. And I was like, that's hilarious. They're like, you were possessed. <laughs> I was like, well, you know, it was like two o'clock in the morning. Um, but it, it just, everything just looks brilliant. And it's such an homage, you know, this show is such an homage to all the things that we love um, and, and that I love. Um, and so to sort of be a part of that, it's just, it's great. It's, it's, a, it's brilliant, it's really cool. Yeah. So what goes through your mind when people say Vecna is the the scariest villain that they've not only seen in the show, but in a lot of things in a long time. And you helped bring that that character to life. I, I giggle often. I mean, my reaction tends to be what, what I just gave you. Uh, it, it's funny, I'm, I'm British, so I'm often terrible at even, you know, receiving praise at all. Um, but it takes a village, right? And, um, and, and to be to be a, a small part of, of bringing something like this to life again is a privilege and it's an honor. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I just, I, I'm just kind of like, thank God it worked. <laughs> thank God it worked.